Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. It's the Blue Abroad Training Report. It's the final pre-season session in 2024 here in Melbourne at Icon Park. And we've got a big, big friend and contributor to the channel, Ur. Hello, Ur. Glad to be here. Thanks for coming on, mate. It's much appreciated. Uh, season's here, mate. In the yeah, blink of an eye, pre-season's done and we're here, mate. We're here. Next week's the big day. It is. The it kick is. off against Brisbane. Um, the boys had pretty much their final hit out in Melbourne. Anyone, anyone stand out before we make our trek over to the Gabba? Well, I was hoping to see Sam Walsh. Didn't see Sam Walsh. Yes, he's Didn't see news. Motlop. Bit disappointing. So yeah. I have a feeling they won't make it to the game. Yeah, it doesn't seem. It seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah. So. Sam Walsh, for those wondering, was training indoors today. He wasn't out with the main group, unfortunately. So it looks as though, from all reports and what we're looking at, he's probably going to miss the first game of the season. He may even miss the game against Richmond. Uh, we don't know yet. It's probably all going to be touch and go. But having said that, I think there's enough out there to be able to cover for him. He's irreplaceable. Uh, absolutely. But Carroll looked pretty good. I was watching him. Uh, he looked good in the I midfield. I had him in my notes. <laughs> really? I was watching him. He's, he's darting the ball beautifully he around is, the ground. So. I, had, I had him in my notes. Yeah. Uh, he's one that I've picked out to watch yeah. coming into this new season. He needs to take the next step. He's still very young. He's only 21 going on to 22. So he's still very young in football terms and as a man as well. So he's one that needs to step up. I actually did mention his name in a tweet that I put out during the drill where they had where they were playing the drill where they were just using the corridor. So they were defending the corridor yep. and using the ball during the corridor. And Jack Carroll actually looked really good. And there's yes. another young fella who moved well. I don't know if you noticed him too, but the Ruckman who's a little bit down the pecking order, but Hudson O'Keefe. Yes. Got I, the curly hair well. with the bright yeah. green boots. I didn't know who he was. I had to ask yep. my son, uh, yep. who's that number 40? Yeah, yep. So that's Hudson yeah, O'Keefe. He, he, looked, he looked lively in the training session as well. Charlie was up and about. Harry was up and about. So... I did see Vossi bring them in earlier in the training session. He stopped the drill almost halfway through and gave them a bit of a... I think there might have been a few stern words. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I think there might have been. So did you feel... It felt as though they were a bit... Not down, but I felt like the intensity was nowhere near yeah, the uh, level. Well, I think Carlton play well when they got the intensity yeah, up. And of course. I guess in these practice matches and also training sessions, they may be just pulling back a bit, so we may yeah. not see the best of them, but um, yep. hoping they bring the, the A-grade play on, on Friday yeah, night. Yeah, of course, of course. It's going to be, look, of course it's going to be a big test up there. Um, I think the one thing I noticed too during the drills was that Sard and Williams both had oh, orange yes. vests on. Yes, yes. So I asked around, I'm not exactly sure what the role was for both of them, but to my eye, it looked as though they were the spares. They were the spare players, so... Players that wear caps, it's no contact Got or it. no tackling. I think Zach Williams and Adam Saad were both the spares in defence during those drills. I don't know what that means for the first game, but it's good to see Zach Williams out there, isn't it? Do you think he'll play Friday? Do you think he moved well enough out here to be playing? He's played oh. the VFL game. Oh, I, okay. Oh, well, he came in to that Collingwood game, remember, off barely any form. That's true. And barely any game and time back in twenty really twenty two. Yeah. He played fantastically well off only I think he only played sixty five percent or sixty five minutes in that game. So to my Maybe. eye he looks ready. He looks ready. He to looks my fit. eye he looks yeah. ready. Yeah, he looked good. Um, I like what Jordan Boyd did yeah, during training absolutely. as well. He hasn't missed a session and another name as well. I don't know if you Doesn't Boyd look like Wayne Holmes? <laughs> He's got the same number as well. <laughs> he does a bit, actually. I reckon Piggy would take that as a compliment, by the way. He's looking just quietly. Sorry, Wayne. Sorry about that. Uh, no, he looks... He, he is... He is the... I think he's the typical... I don't want to say underdog because I think that's a little bit dis... I want to say it's disrespectful to him, but I think he enjoys that tag. I think he embraces that kind of role because he mm. came into that side against Brisbane last year in that preliminary final. And don't forget, before he got suspended, he was a staple in the team. He was. He was red hot form yeah, before yeah, that yeah. Um, incident. Yeah. He's a beautiful user of the ball yep. as well, which is something I think we'll need in that back half. I don't think. And he played well up in Brisbane too. He in did. The he did. Final, he was fantastic. So, yep. He was fantastic in that prelim. So I think as much as the result didn't go our way last year, I think he'd have fond memories of that ground as well, and that's what we need. We need those attacking type of players off half-back, don't we? So, I think 
the other thing we gathered out of this session too is that you just mentioned Motlop didn't train, so yeah. he had uh, a jarred toe, I think, from the game against yeah. uh, Melbourne. And it's understandable given we're only three days out of that game. So Is there still a chance, do you think? Yeah, no, he'll play. He'll play. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah no, okay. he'll play, he'll play. So I didn't see him, I thought. No, 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 he really wasn't not. out there, but okay. on, on, unless, unless something has happened from now, until okay. until he plays, unless they've scanned his toe and something's yeah, gone, he'll be something's vital. gone amiss. But he kicks those freak goals when we need yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, him. exactly. He he he's another one that's in that small forward mix, which is interesting. We've got Durden as well. He, yeah, he was out there. What do you think of Durden? Is he? Well, I think he did ask, enough. I was going to yeah. ask you. How do you think that sure. small forward setup will, will land? We've got Fantasia or Fantasia. Fantasia. Yeah. Motlop's got to be there. Motlop, I think those are the two. Yeah, personally, but you've got Durden and Owies who are there. And Owies, they provide depth. I think is that where they're Owies, at. The Owies moment? is reliable, so yeah. you know he's always good for two goals. Good set, for, good set shot for goal. So yeah, I like Owies, uh, but you can't play. How many small forwards are going to play? Well, that's like, the thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. When you've got Harry and Charlie up there as well, the the one thing I've been really intrigued with this preseason as well is the. The intensity and the way in which they've managed the players. So the training sessions and loading have been ridiculously, not over the top, but they've been flogged, right? And understandably okay. so. It feels and out of this session today, the intensity was well down. Yeah, yeah, well, it just, well down. Yeah, it, was, it, it was very cool relaxed. Like yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was almost like a show for yeah for, for the, the supporters here. Base, yeah. and, and speaking of which, there's a pretty decent, oh, yeah, pretty it's decent. A, it's not the crowds that we got prior to Christmas and just after Christmas, but there's probably, how many do you reckon they're in? Probably 2,000? Yeah. Maybe that, yeah, maybe two and a half thousand. Yeah, yeah. Two, two yeah. and a half thousand, so, so pretty good crowd. Um, so small forwards, it looks like Fantasia and Motlop are the ones that are gonna be locked in. Um, George Hewitt looks strong, David Cunningham hasn't missed a beat in the preseason as well. He looked really lively out there Who's too. our third forward then? That's the question. Sylvain is out. Martin. Martin. Play. Elijah question. Holland. Well, he can't play the first two oh, weeks. that's right. So oh, he yeah. won't play the first two weeks, but he's looked strong out there as well. Um, and again, I know... I Kennedy, know, you think Matthew Kennedy? I find that we, so Kennedy played VFL uh, for us during the week, which is... I don't know, it was of great intrigue for me because he's been at the forefront of a lot of the content on the Carlton website. Every photo is of him, every bit of vision is of him. So I find it very interesting. I think he is below Hewitt on the pecking order. I forget Hewitt last year didn't have a preseason. He had back surgery too. Okay. So he missed yeah. out a fair chunk of the preseason, and he also had he that looks broken hand. Good. Yeah. He's he looks looking good. really good. Um, Terry did an interview with him, okay. to which I'm That's sure right. people will watch before or after this, uh, which will, which will be uh, which will be good fun. So. Um, so third forward. So yeah, they got a third a big forward. call so there. Harry, Charlie. Outside of that, it's probably Cunningham. Fogarty's looked really Fogarty, strong. Yeah. He's another one who comes off a back niggle from last preseason, who's done pretty much every session since we've been here. Um, you think they give Lemmy a go? I could see him out there. Well, he, he looks good. This is an, he's another player or that has been, for me, he's been seen now. Yeah. He's been noticed. He's visible, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. He's, he's recognisable He plays like now. a true forward, like, you know, just leading patterns are I, good. You know what I wonder with him? Because all these tall forwards, you need something else yeah. as well. Maybe it's the ruck. We're seeing oh, yeah. Harry now, uh, Harry Mackay, be shifted into the ruck for bits and pieces of games. We saw it against Melbourne. What do you think about yeah. that? I think he needs to start doing that. I think, um, yeah, um, uh, he looks pretty comfortable in that role. Yeah. He's a good field kicker as well. He is. Good mark. He is. So he's got all the, the tools. Oh, what, do you, what do you make of this whole narrative around Harry? I've, I've heard, I've heard, and I don't want to knock anyone at work, but Gary Lyon out of uh, SEN, my humble abode in the office, said that what he should move to half back. No, which I think is ridiculous. No, <laughs> shout out to Gaz. He could play like a Danaher role, maybe like forward and that's pinch it in the right. That's what I like. Yeah. That's what I think should happen with, with, he's, with Harry. He Mabai. moves so well. He's very yeah. fast. He's good. Good. He's a good field kick. Good mark. He's got. He's got all the, the weapons. If Harry's having seven score involvements, three goals, 18 disposals and 10 marks most weeks, I think we're all... But we're leaving our forward line a bit light with Harry, I think not so. in the forward yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that could be an issue too. They're, they're going to yeah. double up, team up on exactly. uh, Charlie. On Charlie. What have you... Yeah, I mean, his pre-season's been a bit... I say down, but he's not there to play. 
Yeah. He's not there to play pre-season games. He looks he? good. He's... He did. <laughs> <laughs> like you and I. <laughs> Maybe we could go out there. Yeah, yeah. As a fanfare with him, he's just out on the ground now waving to all the fans. Oh, yeah. He's just done his signatures and autographs. And yeah, all the little kids the are screaming for Charlie. It's like I the know. Beatles. Yeah. It's really like the Beatles. He's like a pop star. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. So, like I said, out of this session, I think what we've gathered is the intensity was well and truly down given there's been a gap of only three days since that hit out against Melbourne, but it's all it's all roads leading to Brisbane now. Anyone else stand out? For, for me, I like, what, I like what I saw with Jack Carroll. Um, Jack Carroll. Saad looked like he hasn't missed the beat, and I think, based on what we've seen, it would surprise me if Zach Williams wasn't part of the team this weekend. I think he'll be considered for selection. So. It wouldn't surprise me... It wouldn't surprise me if they don't pick him just based on load management because of, you know, his prize with injury, but... Um, what do you think of defence? Well, Lewis Young or is it Durden back there? Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, Lewis Young, I, I think that wasn't will go too with, bad in the uh, practice match. I, was I think. Young? I think. Look, you can't really. I don't think we can go too much, and I don't think we can read too much into practice matches. But I put yeah. out a few tweets, and I don't know if you agree with this as well. But I think the amount of inside fifties we considered against Melbourne, it was nearly seventy. So that yeah. make up. Well, I say makeshift defence, but that defensive Kemp, Young, McGovern. Yep. Saad, Williams and the like had to deal with that many inside things. Of... But it's good practice, isn't it? Yep. That repetition, knowing where the ball is going to land, how many times you have to defend, getting to a point where it's almost unsustainable to defend, and then you can bring that in to the season. But for me, you have to stop the ball from coming in, don't you? Absolutely. That's yeah. how you stop the pressure on defence. Yeah, we didn't have much defensive pressure on that no. game. But... No, and I think it was in the middle of the park as well. And I think yeah. the way we play and the way we played last year, you don't want to be going out in pre-season and trying yeah. to replicate that they because like you get some pretty sore bodies. They're playing like 90%, 80%, yeah. 85%. If that, yeah. if that. It, it, it felt that way in both practice games. So, are you Young and Kemp and McGovern? Is that what you're young, going with in round Kemp, one? Yeah, or that's what I go for. There's no March Bank, right? Yeah, so. yeah. well, Mar March Bank did a training out there he as well. Train, he's been, yep. he's so. been crook. From what we're from what we've been told of some viral infection or something like that that he's still suffering the effects from. So, do you think Moyer would get a, a first game? I would say no, but he does look. He, he looks pretty he good looks, out there. He looks good he? Yeah. What what I like too is that he's got a lot of voice for a young kid as well. It was something that we noticed. Um, something that I noticed just sitting and, yeah. and standing up near the pocket over there. Um, he's got a lot of voice too, and I think that's what Boss was complaining about earlier in the session that there okay. was no. There's no talk. voice, yeah, and I think that's a big thing too. And I noticed that during the Melbourne game as well. So that needs to crank up during the season Got too. It, yeah. The other thing I want to mention as well, just before we wrap up this training report, do you think this team needs a massive crowd to perform? I feel they do. I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel they, they definitely do. play better. I, mean, I like that. They definitely like play that. better with 50,000 or sometimes 70,000 Carl Spots <laughs> screaming at him. I like that. We've got Lockie Cowan out there as well. He may be a forgotten player too. Let's not forget, yeah. he made his debut early yeah, yeah. last season as well. That's right. So they must think a bit about him for to, yeah. to, to be debuting as young it's as he very even, interesting, so. the makeup of the team for Brisbane. Uh, and bit. you're flying up? I'll be flying up. I'm flying up as well. I'll see you there. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll party if we win <laughs> and party if we lose. <laughs> Either way, we'll be having a good weekend up yeah, there. So, uh, look, again, I think the defence is settled with Young, Kemp and McGovern as our keys. That's what it looks like Boyd. it's going to be. They can put, they can put Boyd there, so Doherty can go at the Seems back. Seems that way. Yeah, Doherty looks like he's going to be the Swiss Army knife this season. <laughs> he's going to be the Mid jack of all trades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're gonna, they, he's going to slice them up open that way. So... Um, very intriguing to see how it all plays out leading into opening round against Brisbane. And I, I am convinced that this team, the only way they perform is when there's a crowd in front of them. So we've got to go up there and, and the, cheer hey, the them onus up. is on us. <laughs> the we'll onus is on us. Energy sells, energy is infectious, energy wins. My wife and I will be up there. You're going to be so. tuning your <laughs> I'll do my best. Is it, is, does your wife, does she get no, passionate? She's, she's quite, just, she's quiet. <laughs> That's right, we can get a revolt. <laughs> uh, make sure you follow, like and subscribe, Blue Abroad, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the social feeds, TikTok as well. Uh, You're the man for the fan cams this year? Yes, um, I'm Terry happy to, uh, yep, to sponsor awesome. the so, fan cams. Yeah. Which, is, uh, which is fantastic to have him on board. He's been a great contributor to the channel for, for, for many a year now and long may it continue and hopefully yeah, yeah. this year... Well, 
We it's love fun. what you guys are doing. Thank and you very much. We get a lot out of it. So thanks thank for coming. You, thank you, Paul. Thanks for coming in front of the camera no, as well. Sometimes it can be a bit nerve wracking, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you've done you've done a fantastic job. So um, if you are up at the Gabba this weekend and you come see any of us, come say hello. Um, we'll be up there. All will be up there. I'll I'll be up there. Um, the baggers will be up there, and it's all roads leading to opening round again. Like, subscribe, follow, more abroad, all the social media pages. Go Blues. Go Blues.